Dude, that move, that move. There's been times where I've been to the verge of tears. It's actually giving me a headache trying to watch this and like analyze it. This Thanks. is all I'm seeing. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Stunt Men React. We're happy to be able to finally film with guests again, and Guy has graciously come in. Guy is a legend, he has done some incredible things. He is going to give you that professional insight into one of the most unique and coolest jobs that you could ever possibly have. So yeah, we're gonna hop into some clips here. Let's get started with one of my favorite kung fu movies of all time. Kung Fu Hustle is directed by one of my all-time favorite directors. I could go on for hours about how much I love Stephen Chow. I love his versatility. Same. He's definitely one of my favorite directors of all time right he now. He is a genius. <laughs> so good! So he's in he's on a Hong Kong harness, which only it's like a belt and it goes through. It's similar to what a climbing harness looks like. Okay. He's picked at the hips. So that way when he jumps, they, they time it with him and doesn't lift up his shirt or anything like that. What I really like about the Hong Kong harness is the fact that it allows your athleticism to be part of the performance Sweet. rather than you just going for the ride in yeah. a sense, which they need him to do at this moment because he, he has to be in rhythm with them and bounce and jump at the same time and throw the kicks and land and have that weight on top of it. Kicks them so hard, dust comes off of them. They need to wash their clothes some more. Wait a second. How'd they get that dust puff on that face kick right here? Look at this. Yeah. Did he throw it with his hand? No. It's on his foot. What it just he... flicks off his toe. So... Also, in a little bit later, you can see there's a part where he just slides his foot through a pile to kick it up into the air also. Gee, what do you use for that dust? I mean, usually you use baby powder, but there is another kind of dust that's a little bit thicker that we use. Did he just slam his head on the ground? Oh, nope. No, he that was a he shoulder saved himself. That was great. Okay. That was actually a really good reaction. He got oh. caught. He wow, got... look, he used his arm to save himself. He's like, boom. Just, just enough, just, you just, just enough. Dude, that guy got launched. Look at this guy. Ooh, he just went on a roller coaster ride. <laughs> oh, that's so rad. Such a sick reveal. Well, this part's CG, right? That's real. Shink, this is real. That's real. And then he goes, <laughs> absolutely VFX. And then this is just glued nice. together. Is that like a real martial arts style? Uh, I believe it's Hungar. It's a northern style, so it's very deep stances. The, the style of tiger that you see in kung fu films, for the most part, is of that origin, which also would explain why a lot of the martial art movements of this style is it's always so big and round because they're actually hitting with their forearms more than their fists at times. Dude, that move. Yeah, that the move. double, the jump split back kicks. He does a really good job of making impossible moves look possible. Right. He's very anime inspired. Yeah. That's what I really liked about Kung Fu Hustle and resonated with me was his ability to take ideas from animation and put it into Dude, live action. 100%. He is the best director who's done anime to live action style. Yes. Um, like Shaolin Soccer. Dude. Right. Dude. Just doing it nonstop, and everybody's just running out. Ah, we're gonna get hit. Ah. <laughs> Dude, aim for the top hats. <laughs> <laughs> so much style, so much like that. That soul that's in it makes it even more fun to watch. Mm -hmm. He's got that craziness in his eyes. He's got that desperate yell. Yeah. He stomps with his foot when he hits at the same time, and he holds it, and everything just shakes because there's so much force behind it. Yeah. And like his chest is back. You know, it's not, oh, he's not like. Oh man. Eh, it's, yeah. You know? It's so, so important. Sick. Oh, you must. If anybody catches a fly on screen, by the I'm way. Gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, uh, <laughs> by the end of this episode, that, that fly is mine. Hey, we love hearing from you guys. What's your favorite martial arts movie? In fact, what's your favorite martial arts scene? Leave a comment down below. We love taking a look and we'll break it down on the show right here. There's, there's been times on this show where I've doubled uh, Turk where I've been to the verge of tears Whoa. because of how, how, how much it hurts. Working nights in New York City during the fall winter is not fun. Okay. 
So there's a fall here that I, I wasn't a fan of. Ooh. So it's New York City, it's 2 a.m., close to 15 degrees outside, and it's about 10 feet, 15 feet. They are like, He's, you're, gonna, you're gonna hit and splat. I'm like, cool, this is gonna be great. We're gonna put a little neoprene mat for you. And neoprene's like this thick, you mm -hmm. know? That neoprene was actually harder than the roof. Really? What? Because oh, when it's cold, Oh. It stiffens up even more. I did that maybe seven times. I might as well should just been landing on the ground without <laughs> it. Because it's not only just the impact, but then it's the freezing burn that comes after it. Uh, of your palms getting scraping across, your, your chest get smacking, and that wasn't fun at all. Here's my thing though. Mm. In the edit, well you don't see the full thing. Right. There's more to the chase than what they actually showed and they, they cut a good chunk of it out. So I'm supposed to land on a, on a lower ledge, then jump to the stairs that you see over there. Oh. And then I'm supposed to run and instead of go down the last flight, I'm supposed to just jump oh. and just try to make it. And that's what we do, but you, know, you don't see it in the shot. It just looks like I fell from on top of the ledge. So again, you do a whole bunch of work and at times you're only gonna get a third of it shown, yeah. you know, in the edit. Charlie Cox is really cool though. We were doing squats to stay warm. He does squats before every scene. Like before they start action, he, he, he pumps his heart up. He just gets it going. Every, like no matter it's cold, no matter it's hot, no yeah. matter everything. I'm gonna tell him he should come on here. Yeah? And then you guys should do an actor's react. You think he would do that? I don't see why not. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Charlie Cox just called me and he said, Nico, I'm not gonna go on your show until Corridor Crew gets 4 million subscribers. I'm like, you know what Charlie Cox? We're at 3.91, so we just need 90,000 subscribers. Come That's on. right, guys. Help us get Charlie Cox in the show right now. Hey, did you <gasps> get it? <gasps> you got it. Oh my God. Please. Okay, close up. Get it. Whoa! Oh! You got dudes! <laughs> <laughs> Clint punches like a pansy. <laughs> it's his health, health bar is like down a little bit. <laughs> now. He's yeah. gonna move it slower now. So Game of Thrones has some great sword fights and has some not great sword fights. <laughs> I remember being pretty disappointed with this fight scene. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> These shots aren't really even showing any beat in particular. Like there you go, okay, you show the block and then you show the swing and then ooh, now what? Like, Wait, <laughs> like what? Now his sword's yeah. already and he's going for a thrust. So they, I feel like they double cut that. So that strike that we see, that overhand, it, the close up that follows afterwards is actually for that strike. Yeah, I agree, 100%. That's just, that's the same move right there, play it again. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, and then she runs away. <laughs> runs away. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, I'm back in the fight. Oh, she won. She's bested him somehow. No. How? Like, literally how? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> she kicked him in the back of the knee. Like, actually, what happened? Like, really what happened? Spin moved, and then she, she kicked, kicked him. him in the This face. is all I'm seeing. <laughs> like, that. I feel like that's they, all I'm seeing. she did that move once, and they made it look like she did it twice. Yeah. Okay, that's probably what it was. And then somehow he's down. I still don't know how he's down. Right here. It's right kick. Do I blink? <laughs> Uh, in the most like, <laughs> and it cuts to her on the impact though for some reason. The most backwards like far away angle for a kick. <laughs> also, uh. the hound is like the toughest mother <laughs> in Westeros. He gets bonked in the chin with a, her toe, and now he's down. Yeah, it actually, it's like it's actually giving me a headache trying to watch this and like analyze it. I'm trying to follow it's it. It's like it's cut so roughly, and like yeah, just none of the angles flow. Like they're forcing, they're forcing it really hard. Yeah, it, it, like I can't breathe watching this. Yeah, this is better than the sword fight. Yeah. But it's still, it's getting a little oof, getting a little. Oh, now we're jumping. It feels like a camera crew was just told to get a couple of angles of a fight scene, and right. so they did, and then there's just no cohesion. You think they were just out there? They're like, 
All right, we gotta film all this stuff. You guys just just film this section. Just film the fight scene. Yeah, I kind of feel. I don't know, man. Like it was really. This is a big buildup, and I think it was just a case of like you know both the actors wanted to do the scene themselves. Some people just don't quite have it yet for sword fighting. <laughs> you know, when they did the Matrix, you know Keanu Reeves and Lawrence Fishburne, they all had to train for like months and months and months, and I feel like this is like a couple weeks. And it's also TV. It's also TV. There's been good fights on this show. The Battle of the Bastards, that was very well done. It's an amazing fight scene. And the trial by combat. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fight scene. Leong is dope. The same dude who choreographed and doubled uh, for that fight scene, he is in Mission Impossible Fallout. He fought Henry Cavill and yeah, so. They've captured stuff way better than that. Let's just say they didn't have a lot of time on set. You know, I would, I would ascertain they maybe had a day or two to shoot this entire scene. Gi, yes. what would you do to make the scene better? I would get the shots that you need with your actors, your big points, and then I would use the wides that they have where they're using the stunt performers and let that be the, the brandishing of the fight choreography and then cut in for the more visceral, intimate scenes that come on later on. But then it's up to the editor to make that come to fruition. And I don't think it happened here. And I get what they're trying to do because these are two very important characters to the story and they want to show them both being powerful, but they're trying to get to the point of Brienne being able to win, her being a better fighter. They could have played more to that and showed how she has to be smarter. She has to be more strategic than just also being a brawler. Or if they want her to just be a brawler, then they should just clash swords. Somehow they both get disarmed and get right to the point of the nitty gritty where they're punching and headbutting one another. And then show who has the best, who, who has the most heart in that aspect. What I would do is I would make it almost just like a uh, like a samurai showdown where it's like two dudes stare at each other, talk, look, like shot their hands, gripping their swords, the blade shining in the sunlight, the sweat dripping down the chin, and they yell, and they write each other, bling, 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 and they break apart again. And it's just like two or three hits. And I wouldn't worry about the choreography at all because clearly the choreography isn't that good. It would just be entirely about the emotion. Setting up a fight and doing a fight on tel for television and doing it for film or you, you have different time with your actors in comparison. They also have to, sh they're probably trying to shoot multiple things at the same time because it's shot in so many different places. And I wonder if this was a splinter unit trying to get this fight together. So I give them some sort of leeway, but they got way too much money and budget for Game of Thrones to look like this. I saw someone die late last night. Have you been taking your medication? You don't get it. She's here. She followed me here. You're not in your right state of mind. Look. He, so. catch a fly, catch a fly. Um, it's catch orbiting you, wait for it, there it is. Oh. You did it, you did it! It's right there. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guy, thank you so much for joining us. Guys, follow Guy on Instagram if you have not. He has some awesome stuff. Ask him some questions, maybe he'll respond. Oh. What the, <laughs> did you get it? Oh my god! Oh shh. How many are there? How many are there? 